Let's talk about how to access your hidden psychic abilities without spending years meditating. I've helped hundreds of students access their hidden psychic abilities without spending years in daily meditation. Most of my students get very quick results, sometimes within a few minutes, days, or perhaps a month or two, depending on where they're starting from and their level of trust in the divine unfoldment of events. So the first thing, that you need to do to access your hidden psychic abilities is intend that any agreements or commands that you made in this lifetime or any other lifetime to block or stop your psychic abilities be burned and dissolved. Your guides are not human and they don't always know how much psychic information that you can handle in your human form at any given time. They don't wanna give you too much, too fast and scare you away but at the same time, they also want to bring you more of the enlightenment and psychic information that you're asking for. Last summer, I was waking up every night and downloading so much cool information about my past lives. I had asked for this, but I had not asked to receive this information while I was supposed to be sleeping. So after a few days of not getting enough sleep, I asked for the information to come through during the day and for me to be able to sleep peacefully. What ended up happening was all of my psychic information got blocked and I was receiving nothing. Not really understanding what I was doing, I had signaled to the universe that I could not handle that rate of flow of psychic information. So my guides shut off the tap so they would not overwhelm me. This was a really important lesson for me on my life path because I do not want the flow of psychic information to stop or even to slow down. So I then understood that it was not my job to say, stop giving me information. Instead, it was my job to expand myself to hold the rate of information that was coming to me. So first, I asked my guides to turn the tap back on. And now I keep a pen and paper next to my bed to write down any downloads that come through during the night. I tell you that story because many people who as adults have no psychic abilities activated whatsoever, in their childhood, they actually did have a psychic experience or many psychic experiences. If you're like me, maybe you had an imaginary friend that you talked to all the time and your parents said something like, oh, that's just pretend. It's not real. It's fine to do at home, but you don't want to do it at school. You don't want anyone to think you're weird. And so perhaps like me, you asked that experience to go away. The second thing that you need to know to access your hidden psychic abilities is that your results are dependent on your intentions. Intentions are literally like magic because they let the universe know what results that you desire when you put your time and energy into a specific practice. So if you're going to do an average meditation with daily practice, you can expect average results more relaxation, presence, patience, love. Yes, 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 yes. More psychic abilities? No. But if you add an intention before this average meditation to access your hidden psychic abilities with practice, that is exactly what will happen. For example, I intend during this meditation practice that my psychic abilities will turn on and turn up. Clear intentions paired with a simple activity like going within in meditation is so powerful that I could stop here, but I won't because I can make it much easier. The third thing that you need to know to access your hidden psychic abilities is that you have a choice to make. A DIY approach, which I will explain next, or going to someone who knows how to turn on your hidden psychic abilities and working with them. I do have a series of energy activations called Soul Mission Activation Sequence that is designed to activate your hidden psychic abilities. So I'll drop the link for that below. I also wrote a book, Lightworkers 101, to show you exactly step-by-step -step how to activate your hidden psychic abilities link for that will also be below. 
If you are ready for the complete DIY experience, this is the basic daily practice to activate your hidden psychic abilities. You have five basic psychic senses. There are more, but we're going to stick to the basics right now. You need to be aware of each of these senses so that you can activate them individually. If you're in my monthly membership or in Quantum Lightwork Academy with me, every single time I do energy work on you, I am going deeper into the activation and expansion of the five psychic senses within you. It's that important. The first psychic sense is knowing or claircognizance. And this is literally like knowing something has just been deposited in your head. There's no voice, no words associated. It's just like, I know this. And often you'll have the feeling like, I don't know how I know this, but I know this. To deepen this ability, tap the top of your head and say, I open my crown so that I may know in clarity. Then spend at least five minutes sitting quietly with your eyes closed, imagining the crown top of your head expanding and light pouring in. The second psychic sense is seeing or clairvoyance. Seeing is the ability to see what others can't with your eyes either opened or closed. You're essentially seeing the hidden energy that weaves through and all around all life on earth. To deepen your ability to see, Tap on your third eye and say, I open my third eye so that I may see in clarity. First, imagine a bright light in that third eye area right between your eyebrows. Imagine that light getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And after you do that, I want you to imagine that you have a pen and the pen draws in light. And your drawing doesn't matter what you draw, but you're practicing drawing with your light pen. Whether you can see any light at all with your eyes closed does not matter at all. It's the practice and the intention combined that does the work in divine timing. When I started, I could not hold light with my mind's eye for more than a second, if that. And it's been the same thing for many of my students. One of my Quantum Lightwork Academy students, Veronica, said this about this practice. At the beginning of this course, I was having a really hard time visualizing anything. I would close my eyes and try to visualize a triple layer sphere of light, and all I could see was black space. As I worked hard for the last six months, that has changed. I can now visualize and feel the different steps to open a quantum field, and when I get into the field, I have wonderful experiences. And this is not just one student. It's all of my students. You can expand really, really rapidly when there is a clear step-by-step -step method to follow. There is no clear word for the third psychic sense, which doesn't make any sense to me because it's so important. In your throat, you have the psychic ability to feel and know when you are blocking yourself from speaking your soul's truth. You will feel pain, heaviness, roughness, thickness in your throat when there's something that you're meant to say, destined to stay, but you're holding back from saying it. Now that I have this sense so deeply activated, whenever there is something that I'm supposed to say, but I'm not consciously aware of it, or I am consciously aware of it, but I'm saying, no way, I'm not going to say that. I start coughing uncontrollably, like horrible coughing and like coughing so bad, my eyes will water until I say it. And once I say it, it just clears. The coughing goes away. There are often binds in your throat from past lives or from your younger self that you will feel when something wants to come through, but those binds are stopping you from speaking. So you might need to move those out. So if you feel something in your throat, simply say highest vibrational light is wrapping around this bind and dissolving it and moving it out. What was bound is unbound. What was taken is restored, clearing karma and agreements between myself and the beings who created this bind. Now to expand your ability to sense with your throat, tap on your throat and say, 
I open my throat so that I may speak in clarity. Then you're going to want to spend a few minutes toning. Toning is like humming, but with your mouth open. So to tone, you can go ahead and start with your lips closed and humming. Then open your lips and make it a little bit louder. If you live with other people and you don't want them to think you're a total weirdo, you can do what one of my friends did and drive to a parking lot and practice your toning there. Or you can do what I did and simply explain that you're becoming a psychic wizard master and you need a few more minutes to practice. You'll be happy to sign autographs when you're finished. The fourth psychic sense is feeling or clairsentience. Clairsentience is the ability to feel with your body. Pain is never simply pain. Pain always has an energetic cause. The more that we expand our psychic energy to feel in clarity, the quicker that we can move the dense energy out. The pain will leave with the dense energy, which will leave you with more lighter, higher vibrational feelings within your body. To expand your ability to feel, tap your heart and say, I open my heart so that I may feel in clarity. Spend a few minutes now being present with your body, feeling throughout it, doing a bit of a body scan within your mind and sensing for anything that is not simply normal. So any twinges, any itches, any sharp pointy feelings, anything like that, any heaviness, any densities. Hearing or clear audience is the ability to hear guidance from the non-physical realm. What gives you the right to hear this guidance? We are all God's source. We are all one. So when you access God's source, like I do, or any other highest vibrational being, and I do not recommend trying to access any lower vibrational beings, you are simply accessing another aspect of yourself. And I promise you, you have permission to do that. But beyond that, you're actually designed to do that. We are not designed as humans to come to earth and be on our own. We're designed to have constant contact with the I am, the God, the source within us, and also our highest vibrational guidance team. So to expand your ability to hear in clarity, tap your ears and say, I open my ears so that I may hear in clarity. Then spend a few minutes with your eyes closed, just listening and being aware to the thoughts in your head. It sounds simple, but it only took me 30 days, 12 years ago of this last practice, this fifth one, to begin hearing the voice of I am, of God, of source in clarity. Those conversations between I am, God's source, myself, and my husband, Phil, eventually became my book, One Truth, One Law, I Am, I Create. So if you want to know how to do the type of meditation that led me to hearing my inner voice, comment below. And if enough of you are interested, I will make a video showing you how. So we learned the daily practice for each of the five major psychic senses. So go ahead and choose which ones that you are going to amplify on a daily basis for the next 30 days. You can just do one or you can do two, three, four, or all five. Of course, if you have issues sticking to daily practices, start with one. If you are already a champion daily practice doer, you can do as many as feels comfortable to you. And definitely come back and share in the comments of this video after your 30 days of practice how much you have expanded.